So, question six. These two curves have these equations respectively where A and B are positive constants. P lies on both curves and has x coordinate 2. It's given that the gradient of C1 at P is equal to the gradient of C2 at P. Find the values of A and B. Uh, we've got this gradient thing appearing. That is our indicator that this is a, a differentiation question. Straight away, we've got that kind of thrown in there, haven't we? So, uh, so let's see what we can do with that. Um, right. <coughs> the gradient of the two curves at P is equal. We're not told anything about the y coordinates, particularly, are we, of the two curves? So the, let's let's work out something with this then. Uh, curve one, C one. Y equals ln 4x minus 7 plus 18. So dy by dx, we're going to need dy by dx out of this, is that natural log of something. So the natural log of something is 1 over the something times the derivative of the inside bit. Derivative of 4x minus 7 is 4. So that's dy by dx for curve 1. What are we told? At the point P, we need to know its gradient at the point P. So at P, dy by dx for C1 is 4 over 4 times 2 minus 7. That is 4 divided by 8 take away 7, so 4. 4 divided by 1. Okay, that's, that's enough for now on C1. Uh, C2, curve 2 y equals a lots of x squared plus b to the half. This is another chain rule question. So if we differentiate the whole thing, some a times something to the half will be a half a times the something to a minus a half, multiplied by the derivative of the inside bit, so times 2x. Let's simplify that. We've got 2x times a half, times a, so that's ax over x squared plus b to the half. I don't know why I've put it over, it doesn't matter. Um, and we're interested in what happens when x equals 2. The gradient went at p, at p, x equals 2, so we have to work with the x here as being 2a over, what is that, 4 plus b to the power of a half. Right, so we've got, what did it say? The other curves, the point p lies on both curves. Oh, so hang on, that's another thing that we've got going on, isn't it? So at the point p, they have the same gradient, and they intersect. These curves intersect when x equals 2. <coughs> so the solution of their intersection means that at x equals 2 we've got ln of 8 minus 7 plus 18 is equal to, what's the other one? a times 4 plus b to the half. <coughs> so there we have that. Uh, what's ln 1? 0, isn't it? e to the e to the 0 gives us 1, so I add 1 to be 0. 18 is a times 4 plus b to the half. Okay, we appear to be establishing, establishing some things here. We've got this equation. Let's hold on to that. We'll come back to that later. We've got these two statements for dy by dx at p. They are equal. So at p, 2a over 4 plus b to the half is equal to... Giving us an equation there that says that 2a is 4 lots of 4 plus b to the half. Um, that's the other two equations that we're looking for. Where can we go next with this? Um, yes. Well, well, we're solving simultaneous equations. 
Um, what would be the easiest way of doing this? I think this one appears to be saying to me that 4 plus b to the half is equal to a half a. And here, I've got 4 plus b to the half is equal to 18 over a. So those two things pretty much be the same, does not they? They're, they're, we've both got two expressions for 4 plus b to the half. If we equate that, we've got a half a is 18 over a. So a squared is 36. So a is plus or minus 6. What did it say in the question? A and B are positive constants. There it is. A and B are positive constants. A greater than 0, therefore A equals 6. And if we sub it back in, we can get B. Which one should we put it into? That one there. So 3 equals 4 plus B to the half. 9 is 4 plus B. B equals 5. There we are, find the constants A and B, that's what we're saying.